Hello, I'm Sarah Olson. I'm a software engineer at Edging Tools, and I just posted this blog post uh, about adaptive camera traps, where I'm exploring using large language models together with um, the features that we have in Edging Tools to create kind of an active learning loop for uh, camera traps. Because I've identified a couple of challenges that we often encounter when developing uh, solutions for camera traps, where one is the heavy task of labeling a lot of camera trap data and also to kind of figure out what classes we want to include in the model. Uh, might be that we're interested in a couple of classes and then other species pass by and get misclassified or it's um, a heavy task, especially for deploying to like all places in the world. So I'm exploring uh, this active loop of, um, of updating the model uh, when you have detected what kind of species um, that roam in the area. So for the first item here, I was, ex uh, I was inspired by the mega detector. This is a model that can locate animals um, of different species with bounding boxes. Uh, it's a pretty big uh, model, but it's used for all kinds of real uh, life applications. And I'm thinking to, to try making a smaller version of this one. So I've created this project in Edgeables for this purpose. And it's an object detection model where all my data is um, just labeled um, images of animals. And as you can maybe see, it's um, synthetically generated images because that's very quick and convenient. So I prompted to create realistic camera trap images. And yeah, that the animal should do like natural behaviors, uh, typical quality of camera trap photo. And this is the result I got back, just created an extra few ones. Uh, these ones are from earlier. And when I get them back, they are not labeled. So I do this quickly in the labeling queue by using the YOLO B5 option. It's not a dog, but I would just accept this because it's still good enough that it helps me to, to draw the, the lines. Um, I actually just want photos with one animal right now. Um, so continue doing this. And when done, uh, I'll just go to dataset and I filter the ones um, that I want to relabel as animal. So I've already trained this model once and got a pretty decent uh, precision score. Um, so I also went to devices, uh, since I trained on the synthetic data, I wanted to validate uh, on real um, images. I connected the phone in classification mode and just faced it towards uh, a video, uh, video from Canada. And this is uh, a set of videos I'm using throughout the project uh, because they have uh, lots of videos from these locations. Next up, I went to the deployment uh, page and I downloaded this one as a Docker container and spun it up on my laptop. I created then a, a little Python script that uh, went through more of these videos and fed it to the yeah. inference. Images. And when I'm getting back the results, um, I saved the raw images together with the bounding boxes to create kind of a simulation of a real deployment site, uh, but from home. And then I have this second project here. Uh, we can actually start with this one with a small amount. When running the mega detector edge um, over a video, uh, I got the, this is the result I got. It managed to detect the animals very well, uh, but it's still uh, labeled as animal. And I want the real species for this um, final model. 
And here I'm making use of custom transformation blocks. I have created one uh, inspired actually by this one that is already public uh, about labeling uh, images with single labels. I created a similar one for bounding boxes. It has limitation of just one uh, bounding box per image. Um, but I prompted it to get that species and and then in the uh, transformation block, I'm replacing the um, this animal label with the, the label returned by the prompt. So let's start this one. Okay, so it's done. Let's go to data set and see what we got. Um, we have updated labels. I actually know that this video contains mostly uh, Canada links, and we can also see that here. Uh, and some of the classes are um, mostly the ones we, we need to to rename, so they get the same, the, the same I think, for also that we have some mislabeled uh, coyote, maybe these two, let's see if they are actually Correct, they are not, and one unsure. Let's see for this black bear as well. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna quickly delete these ones. So it's still kind of a manual um, validation of the results. I would guess also these ones are links. Yes. So then I will select all of these ones and I'll just create a same name for everyone. But that was still pretty quick to label uh, 59 images with bounding boxes. And this is a project for which I have run through more videos and we can have a look at some of them. Uh, I go to the back actually because in the front I've added extra images that are synthetically generated. Um, but these ones are from the from the videos. Let's see if we can find another species, a black bear, for example. For this model, I chose a Jolo V5 model. It's a quite a big one, but um, that was kind of needed to get a good accuracy enough. Um, it's still only decent, but um, I could see it get, getting better. For example, if I uh, in this model I, I used a few. Um, a few less classes and uh, because I think the two uh, species of bears and also like the wolf and uh, wolverine are getting a bit overlapping features so I think it's uh, about adding more data for these species and before uh, getting to 77 percent uh, and that that was before adding the synthetic data so I added about 300 synthetically generated images as you can see here. Looking at the model testing mm -hmm. output, uh, the accuracy was pretty uh, similar to the training one, but for this one, it's only a real footage included from one of the videos that I didn't include in the, in the training set. To wrap up, uh, feel free to read the full blog post. It has more details and yeah, I'm happy with the results of uh, generating these many data samples so quickly and and I'm eager to continue with the um, Mega Detector Edge model, making it useful for people. So yeah, see ya. Thank you.